One of the best upgrades you can make to an older boat is, believe it or not, the anchor. You've probably got some archaic old thing hanging off the bow, and there's lots of new innovations around these days. This Vulcan 20 is a great example. It's a modern rolling anchor that will fit underneath a bow pulpit without a roll bar. Most of us continue to use whatever anchor came with our boat, despite their outdated technology. The CQR on our boat is an articulating plow design that dates back to 1933. While the hinge was conceived to help orient the anchor for easy setting, we've always had trouble getting ours to set, and we were never confident it would hold in a blow. Back down at over 1,000 RPM, and it would invariably drag. Modern anchor designs, like the Rockna, have new features to help them set quickly in a wider variety of seabeds. It's got a rollover bar that allows it to roll itself if it lands upside down on the bottom but it's not functional if you've got a bow pulpit like we do. So Peter Smith, who designed the Rockna, had a lot of demand from power boaters with bow pulpits to find something that could roll itself over without the roll bar. And this is what they came up with, was the Vulcan. The Vulcan uses unique geometry with a curved shank and a roll palm to self right on the seabed without the use of a roll bar. In fact, we had difficulty on the shoot day getting the Vulcan to land on its side at all. Its weighted tip is sharp, designed to quickly penetrate the seabed. Unlike our old CQR, which we found would land its side, often refusing to set in hard sand at all, the geometry of the Vulcan helps keep the sharp tip oriented such that it tends to bury itself in the seabed almost immediately, regardless of how it lands. Using the Vulcan for most of the summer, we found it set every single time we deployed it in sand, mud, and even in relatively weedy areas. But one interesting thing about the Vulcan is once it starts to set, it's 90% set in its own length. It doesn't have to travel very far to become very well set. That can be a real advantage in a crowded anchorage, but setting quickly has a little benefit if there isn't enough holding power, and that is where the design compromise gets tricky. A fine balance is needed between tip weight and blade area to manage both a quick set and final holding. The Vulcan has a very large concave blade area, providing phenomenal holding power. In fact, this 20 kg anchor is designed to withstand winds up to 50 knots for a boat of our size. Now, when sourcing an anchor, it's really important to consider the correct size. Most people undersize their anchors to save a little money. If you go to the Rockna Vulcan site, you'll find a chart recommending the correct size for your vessel. It's important to pay attention not just to the length of your vessel, but the weight of it as well. In fact, our boat weighs right around 20,000 pounds and is about 37 feet long, and they recommend a 20 kg Vulcan. Deployment technique and scope both play an important role setting and holding. The Rockna Vulcan Anchoring Guide recommends dropping the anchor when the boat is stationary, letting the wind push you while paying out the road as you drift back. Momentum can be used to set the anchor when you reach the appropriate scope. If conditions are calm, you can use the engines to set the anchor. Just be sure to be gentle. These anchors tend to set very quickly. A 3 to 1 road length to depth ratio is considered the bare minimum scope, with 5 to 1 or greater being ideal for setting the anchor. If high winds are predicted or you have room to swing in the anchorage, a scope of 8 to 1 offers the greatest holding capability. Following their anchor guide, not only did we find this Vulcan would set every time, but we never dragged once all summer. The innovative geometry of the Vulcan allows it to self-launch from most bow rollers, so there's no need to send someone forward to move it off the roller. And just like the Rockna, the Vulcan comes with a lifetime warranty against both breakage and bending, assuming you have the correct size for your vessel.